Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. At this point, pretty much we've got content going out every 48 hours, so don't stay stuck with your business. And if you want to reach out to me with any business questions or you want to get on a call with me, then visit the description below this video. There's a number of ways you can reach out to me to get my uh, personal one-on-one -on -one help. Now, today I want to come on here and quickly share with you my thoughts on growing and scaling using CoachUp. Now, for those that don't know what CoachUp is, CoachUp is, is a platform where a lot of coaches create a profile and parents can then search for local trainers in their area. Now, it's been a fantastic platform for some coaches in, in the sense of they've managed to get clients from it. But the reason why I wanted to, to make this video is because speaking to a lot of coaches in the last couple of weeks, I've realized a few of them rely solely on that platform. Now, the great thing about CoachUp is there's not much cost involved, right? You create your profile and CoachUp pretty much does everything for you, right? Like you create your profile, you, you upload a picture of yourself, you put, you put your your coaching experience, um, you put your price in, and then when a parent, say for example in Baltimore, wants to look for one-on-one -on -one private training, and you're in Baltimore, then they will come across your profile. Now, the biggest problem and challenge a lot of coaches have is they're losing a lot of money with coach up. So, two reasons mainly. Number one, they're becoming very reliant on the platform and they solely think that because the profile is there, because the, the platform's there, that they're gonna get clients on a regular basis, okay? Now, that's not always the case. Yes, you might get one or two clients that come in through CoachUp, but if you wanna have a long-term sustainable business, CoachUp is just a platform that you can maybe use on the site, right? Now, the second reason why you're losing money is because every time a, a customer books you through CoachUp, right, CoachUp are keeping a commission from that, right? So essentially, if a parent has booked a one-off session with you and you're charging $50, CoachUp's going to keep a fee, which is essentially an administrative fee for you using their platform, okay? So... A lot of coaches are losing a lot of money each month because of this, this platform. Now, again, it has been a great tool for a lot of coaches because a lot of coaches do use it to get extra clients in and they run their, their own branded business on, uh, alongside it. But the problem is if you don't go out of your comfort zone, if you don't go and speak to parents, if you don't get your brand known out there, all you're going to be doing is sitting down waiting for coach up to bring you clients. Now, from experience and speaking to a lot of coaches, right, building a business that way is not sustainable, especially if you want to do it long term, if you want to do it long term and if you want to do it full time, because there are, and one of the biggest problems is because there's so many trainers on CoachUp, right? And a lot of parents, when they're searching for a local trainer, all they're going to do is they're going to go for the cheapest option, okay? And one of the reasons I don't like using these type of, type of platforms is because you, they're, you're essentially comparing yourself on price with a hundred other trainers in your local city, okay? So if you are priced at $60 an hour, and then there's another coach which is priced at $40 an hour, the chances are parents won't know what your value is because they don't know who you are. So all they're gonna do is they're gonna go for the cheaper option, which is the $40. And that is one of the biggest uh, problems coaches have when they're using uh, platforms such as CoachUp. So my recommendation is build your business Build your private soccer academy business alongside CoachUp. Don't just 
rely on coach up uh, for it to do the work for you because yes it might do some of the work for you but in terms of generating 10 plus clients per month it's going to be very difficult just because the amount of uh, the amount of coaches on the platform and also you are kind of relying on coach up to do the marketing and promoting for you okay because if traffic doesn't fall on the website then ultimately no one knows who you are okay but if you take self control and you go out there and you get your brand known you get in front of lots of parents you're very active on on social media you're very active in in the public uh, and a lot of people are starting to talk learn about what you're doing it's going to be a lot faster and a lot quicker to grow your business rather than solely relying on the platform such as coach up okay so again if you are a coach that has been using coach up for a while and you you've got to a point where you're like right i can't grow quick enough using this connect with me description below we've worked with a lot of coaches up until now uh, who have transitioned from coach up into owning their private soccer academy business okay also if you want to learn more about our sports accelerator program this is the number one program for 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 private soccer coaches who want to grow a six figure private soccer academies reach out to me as well description below we can get on a a free call and I can talk to you about the different options we have to help you in your business okay thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one